Hello there, hi everybody, it's Phil, uh, Hawkins Estate Agents, our latest property tour. We're on um, Hillside, which is in Hartshill, and we are literally on the hillside. So we've got this house directly behind me. Uh, where are we? <laughs> this one, here. Got a um, driveway at the front. I'll pan around, I'll show you what we've, what we've got here. But we've got accommodation on this level, then it drops down a little bit, and then it drops up again um, to, the, to the top. So you've got a couple of bedrooms upstairs and a shower room. On this floor, you've got a lounge, which could also be another bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. There's a utility, a WC, you've got a hallway, and then dropping down, there's a lounge, a kitchen, and a conservatory. Um, so it's really intriguing. Lots of accommodation, split over, in theory, three floors, sort of half levels as, as well, and Hartsill, very, very popular. You're just a short distance away from Hartsill Hayes, just get to the top of the road up here, onto Albury Road, Hartsill Hayes. So out here, sort of semi-rural, you've got the countryside nearby as well. And we've got a good house, it's in good order, good shape, it's got central heating, it's got double glazing, got an alarm system, south-facing rear garden. As you can see, the sun is absolutely glaring over the top of the house. So anyway, less than me talking, let's pan round, show you where we are, and then we'll dive through another have a nosy round. So that's the front of the house. As you can see, you've got a double uh, width driveway. There's a block paved sort of edging just down there. Heading that direction then into the rest of sort of Hearts Hill and then working your way just up to the top up there to sort of um, Chapel End and so on. So let's get in. There we go. Right. So there's been a few changes here. I mentioned previously the um, garage has been converted. So you've got um, this entrance sort of porch. I'm just going to close the door behind me. There we go. And then you lead through here into the through hall. And off the hall, you've got stairs going down to some accommodation, stairs going up to a couple of bedrooms. And then this is where it's all been changed. So... This bit would have existed. This would have been a small third bedroom in theory. And now it's been opened up and altered a little bit across the back. So back to the front of the house just there. We'll pan this round here. They were thinking originally of setting this up as a little bit of an Airbnb and separating it from the, the rest of the house. Hence the other door in the hall. Um, lockdown obviously came a couple of years ago and that didn't... Uh, didn't materialise. But if you've got a family that are um, extended family, then this could work because you've got an ensuite bathroom in here. That's all, all very good order. And I say, go back to the main hall. So this door you could close off and then that's separate if you wanted to go that route. Utility stroke combined WC. You've got the hand basin, the toilet, some fitted cabinets, the work surfaces in there. So that's obviously very, very handy. Utility in my house and favourite room because you can throw a few things in. So just showing you there then. So you've got stairs going up to the first floor and then we've got the stairs going down, which I'm going to do now, just into... You've got this lovely big lounge diner. The sun will be glaring right the way through. You've got some storage just behind me. Electric fire just sat in there. As you can see, there's the storage under the stairway. Just that one there. Patio doors lead out onto the decking, which we'll go and have a look at in a moment. And then the kitchen, quite a big space here then for a American style sort of fridge freezer. As you can see, that's a little bit wider than normal. Shaker style kitchen, well fitted. Got an integrated dishwasher in there, obviously the double oven. The extractor hood, that will all stay. And then got vertical radiator here as well, very smart. A couple of the similar style ones in the in the lounge and then the conservatory it's uh, UPVC and then you've got a load of decking just outside so quick swap round here we're going to dash upstairs and then we'll get back down to the to the gardens right so just working our way up then onto here and we sold next door um just middle of last year and where you see this sort of built-in storage there that was all opened out actually used it as a study area um we sold for one of our uh, colleagues to be honest and that worked very very well so that could be done shower room all very smart in here Got a built-in shower rain head shower just above there hand basin set on the fancy unit 
wooden flooring in there as well. And then the two bedrooms that are up here, this one's the bigger of the two. It's an L-shaped room. You've got the views over the countryside to the back. The sun is still glaring through. And bedroom three, but the second one up here, another good size room. Quite a bit of furniture in here, but it accommodates it very, very well. Now that's there. So just downstairs and now to the garden. Let's get down there. Right, so back down to the back of the house. We've got the garden here, so the decking. There is a roll out canopy sort of over there as well. You've got views all the way over the far end of Hartsill. This is very, very pleasant. Screen in here and, and so on. We'll just work our way down a few steps. Pretty low maintenance garden. You've got patio, artificial lawning, more patio, some flower beds. And then just underneath the decking is some storage. And then if I just do that, you can't quite see, but there is actually some more storage under there. There's a cold water tap as well. You can see the timber shed here. You've got the greenhouse and there's also another timber shed. And there's a rear gate then there that takes you back out to the side and front of the house just there. And if I do that, you can actually see the house itself. So, right, let's turn the camera around, tell you a little bit more. So there we go, thanks for watching that bit. So number 24, Hillside, Hearts Hill. Not to be confused with Hillside Drive, which is in uh, Chapel End, just up off Camp Hill Road. Um, so this is the old Randall estate. Um, you've got the newer homes just here, the Bloor homes. I think these were probably built around about the 70s, something along those lines here. Um, they're unusual, they're quirky, but I think they're absolutely fantastic. You've got this split level accommodation, which could work very, very well, depending on what the family setup is, maybe with children at home or extra family. Um, that could work very, very well. And there's a load of storage just here as well. You've got the driveway and it's just on the edge of the, the development here and also very, very close to Hartsill Hayes. You've got all the other amenities nearby. Um, Hartsill is well um, versed with the uh, attractions and amenities just nearby and Hartsill Hayes obviously is lovely. That's a country park, um, forest walks, lovely bluebells later on as well. So that's all very pleasant. The road links are brilliant out towards obviously the A5, the A444 and heading then further afield out this side towards sort of um, Ansley, um, Tamworth, Polesworth, all the other villages that direction, Solihull, Birmingham, obviously the bigger sort of set up there. So that's all good. Now the price here, and we're just about to go to the market. Obviously don't forget, keep subscribing to YouTube. There'll be a link down here at the end of the page. Click it, 950 subscribers nearly. Um, so you'll see properties advertised on here before. Um, so yeah, price. Uh, £215,000, available for viewings on this one straight away. Clients are living here, um, so we can get you set up on that one. So if you do want to come and have a look, give us a call. If you want a bit more information, talk to us. We'll try and answer any questions, queries that you may well have um, there as well. And if you want a bit more info online, the brochures, the spec sheets, the floor plans, more photographs, they're all on there. So, so in the meantime, till the next one, thanks for watching and stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.